Hello and welcome back to Expeditions, a mud runner game as we jump back into Arizona and we are going to go back into free roam because we do still have a couple of, if I once again jump into the map like we did before, we do have these two tasks that we can do. We've got the dried up gorge and the uns unsuccessful dew analysis, which is to retrieve a truck, that truck, there's a truck there, it's the PUG, the pug. And we've got to deliver it back to there. That's the that's the return point of the job, I believe. So, last time out, we came out of the West Outpost. We sort of rolled down here a bit. Uh, we built a bridge. We did some stuff around here. We found a job that we can't do. Found the truck. There's a climb here. Now, if we go down here with our big truck, and I think we're going to need our big truck to pull that big truck. Um, yeah, we'll take the step. If we if we do that, I'm not sure how we would get ourselves back up. I'm really not. So I think... I think it would be a case of going the long way. I, was going, I thought this paid out more than that. I thought this was uh, like a 10, 11 grand job. This is a six and a half grand job. So maybe we get it and we just sort of pull it around. Because this is... I'm not saying reasonably flat, it's not. But this part is. So if we can negotiate our way through whatever's in there, bring it round. This should be quite easy terrain to get across. Uh, we've been through here, we know this is pretty flat up here and deliver it. Because if not, it's trying to get up here, get across here, and then get both vehicles. I don't know. Don't know. We're, is there a cross in here? Doesn't look like it. Maybe a bridge, but we don't know. And then again over here. Possibly a bridge. I don't know. So how we get back afterwards. Whereas once we're on this landmass, by the looks of it, this is all one piece. So that's that's my uh that's that's my logistical analysis, and that's what we're gonna go for. I'm gonna take two trucks though, because that is a long way, and I want to start a truck out at the west outpost. That's what we're going to use the step for. And then I'm going to put the uh, the Tuz. I want to put the Tuz over here. Because if we run out of fuel or anything, I can try and meet us somewhere. Wherever it is we run out. I'm, I'm assuming we're going to run out about halfway. And we've got to get there, around. That looks quite... That is steep. We drove up there before. So pulling the truck, that's going to be difficult. And then getting around. So I'll probably run out of fuel around here or around here where we've got a bridge or yeah I'm not even sure if that bridge stays so we might have to go back and do that we'll know if bridge stays because we built a bridge here so yeah that's what that's that's my plan that's what we're going to do um whether you understood or followed that I don't know but we're going to take a mechanic with us again because he gives us extra anchors and a greater radius for it we will also take the logistics person, because they will outpost. Oh, outposts have more fuel. We don't have more fuel. So, no. Hydrologists. 100% um, underwater. Or oh, minus 100% underwater damage. Oh, wait there. If we take Amwar. We could possibly. As long as we could move. Go via water. I'm gonna take him as well. And what does a Jaeger do? Jack screws. Ten meter skeleton radius. Um, don't need that. And a manager for returns. Should we take? I want to take him as well. This is quite an operation, I think. So. Bear with me while I spend a lot of money on this six grand job, but this un either unlocks or gives us a pug afterwards. So I think it's going to be worth putting a bit of time and effort into because we've only had these same few trucks and I don't want to use the Don, the Don Special Edition. Um, so yeah, anyway, we are going to use the 
step and we did get a new winch borer. So well, we've got the extended winch. An extended heavy truck winch that features a notice. A twin motor heavy truck winch featured not one but two dedicated motors. Um, of all the possible winch setups, this winch is the pinnacle in forms of pull and power. But probably not the longest. But we want pull and power because we've got to pull that big truck. I will keep saying big truck. <laughs> so in our inventory, we are going to... What are we going to... We want to take a couple of jacks, I think. That's 20 anchors. That's a lot. And we should be able to pick some up along the way. Uh, we don't want any of these, I don't think. We'll take lots of fuel and a couple of repair parts. Again, I doubt we'd need that much, but there may be another bridge or something we can build along the way, which would be quite helpful. And that's an 11 grand spend. But if it gets us, a, once again, if it gets us a truck, I'm all for that. And we've got, we've got a long way to go. So then we are going to take the... We'll take the Tuz. Because that can hold more fuel anyway. And the Tuz will have... Just in case. And I'm just going to put fuel in it. 16 grand. Am I mad? Probably. We've got a truck we can sell if we run out of money. I don't think I'm going to need anything else. It just becomes... <laughs> we can take four. I could put a scout out there as well. I could. Right. So that's my crew. And I want to put the Tuz there. Yeah. Oh, I thought I did it then. Didn't want to do that. Right, and <laughs> the step here. So then we come down, pretty much where we came before, I think. I don't see no other way down there. Not yet, unless there's like some way you drive off around here and it's an easy drive back, but we'll just have to lower ourselves down. If we roll, we can, we'll, ju we'll just have to use our jack. That's what they're there for in this game, that like you're expected to have difficulties. If we can, we might, instead of coming down here, just aim for that. It's closer. We could even see if we just host straight across the river, can't we? Um, but yeah, let's uh, let's go. That's enough chat for this one. It's about five minutes, I think, already. It's going to be a challenge. Have a little sip of my coffee before we head out. It's going to be a big one. So, this was. What's that work? That's trade. Oh, I'm in the Tuz. I'd all be in the Tuz. I want to be in the step. There we go. Now we get. She's feeling heavy. <laughs> Sort of try and go the same way. Like I said, we'll just go further along that ridge. But trying to pull this, or trying to get some, get me words out today. Trying to get this to move along up and down some of those plateaus, as well as trying to, uh, to pull that. Is it a collier? The pug. Trying to pull that as well. It's starting to be easy. So like I said with the uh, 
the last episode, which didn't turn out to be as long as I thought it was going to be because we couldn't do the job I wanted to do. This may turn out to be a long one. I'll, uh, I'll not edit anything out, I don't think, you know. If we get stuck for long periods of time, maybe I will. If I get grounded and stuff like that, I can't move. But you know, I like to try and do a clean run so I get to see and see how it goes and how it develops. Is this where I want it to be? I thought so, but it doesn't look like it. I want to go down one. Down one like there's steps. Well, they sort of are, aren't they? Nature steps. It's a shame we don't have an off-road gearbox for this. Whether that's discoverable out here or somewhere else. I don't know. I don't know where any of the things are. We, we, we literally find them as we come across them. I don't have no uh, like foresight into it. Because I don't want to spoil my experience, so I just roll with it as it is. Literally rolling with it as it is. That's not good. Not sure if we're going to be able to oh, correct ourselves from here. Oh, go on. Go on. You absolute view. Can we winch on or anything? Oh, what a save. What a save. Okay. Um. <laughs> Where can we pull ourselves? Where's me? Um, where's me? Ting ting. Right. Let me move it. Where? It's not very good there, is it? I'm not sure if this is going to upright anywhere. We won't even move. Oh, there we go. What, we just sort of drop it in? Why can't I... Oh, mate, I don't trust that. That's just going to put me back where I was. Well, we'll have to try it. It won't let me move it left or right. So, yeah. This is a little bit strange. I can rotate it. I don't think I want to rotate it. I want it. I'd like to have it over to the right if I could, please. That's not really any better. Engine works though, so there's that. Um, gonna pull that up a bit. Gonna let it out. Oh, don't, 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 don't. You might find that we have a lot. How am I going to get? How am I going to get up on that bridge? Um, right, we're going to try this no water damage business. Our snorkel isn't overly high though. So whether it'll still cause the engine to cut out, I don't know. This could this honestly this could be such a long a long one. Maybe I should have uh, done a little Google and <laughs> why why someone better do it so I can follow them. But never mind. It wouldn't be my paper then, would it? Do we oh, try and winch up? If I all right daylight. It's not that deep, is it? A bit like my talent pool, it's not that deep. 
nothing to winch up to though. Whoa. Yeah, you can see that that's not overly deep. We went round the side of it before. I mean, if we can get it to turn. Yeah, we're good. We're good. Who needs a bridge? Just wasted parts. The truck's just over up there, innit? Reminds me, talking about parts. We've smashed the hell out of our truck. <laughs> Keep going around on the river, on the river bank. We can go up overhead. We can get up there. Let's see if we can put a bit more oomph in these tyres. Sure, we told like one or two other vehicles, little ones at that. We told a, that minibus that was a pain in the backside, wasn't it? Am I dreaming that we we told something smaller? Uh, oh, but if I go, we haven't actually set it as a task, have we? So that's where it is, and then it will show us where we need to deliver it. Oh, that is where we need to deliver it, yeah. Okay, <laughs> so yeah, there's the truck. We need to deliver it. There is an airdrop up there if we need parts, but that... Oh, no, I'm not going to that. That was a... Uh, that lying to me. It's not connected at all. There we go, it's connected now. Right. Yeah, could you imagine trying to pull that with the uh, the Kayo? Maybe with the Lodestar it would have been doable. I'm not sure if there is a, an actual bed to put on the back of the load star though. It looks like there should be, but it's a scout, so I don't, I don't know. I haven't really played with it. Again, another reason why I haven't done like a, a full review or anything like that is because I just haven't used everything yet. How can I how can I tell you what's good and what isn't if I don't know? Maybe we need to make a more concerted effort to uh, mix up our vehicles. Or have a little crack with some stuff on another save. Perhaps I'll do that. Do what I've already done, but use the other vehicles instead. Well, I wanted you to roll towards me, if I'm honest, mate. That's what I really wanted. Can I force you to roll over? Oh, nearly. <laughs> Go on. Yes. <laughs> So 
turn around a little bit and come my way. Come on. And I'll make the pig's ear out of this. I just want to have to go all the way back down again. Come on, that's, that's all I'm trying to stop doing. I'm thinking of how far I've got to, I've got to get yet. Bloody saves, man. That is my worst experience so far. Of those uh, jittery saves. That and the controls being different. That's a little bit annoying. But you live with it. And like with the... Um, what was it, that minibus thing? Oh, come on. See, this is going to get frustrating. I was only going to say, I didn't want to have to turn the engine on. Because as we, when we pulled that minibus, it ran out of fuel. Come on. Come with me. There we go. I'm going to turn on and off a lot. Because I don't know how much fuel is in it. And we have got such a long way to go. And... If you watched the last episode, you'll know that up ahead, when we were doing a little bit of scouting for another job and looking for stuff, there was a massive steep hill. And I'm going to need the, the pug to, to help us the step. So when it's these little climbing bits, I'm going to try and remember to turn the engine on for it so it sort of propels itself a little bit. Under load, those little stones, that one that I just drove over the back, they're going to become a nightmare because you get stuck on them anyway. So I should imagine the pug will as well. Try and drive around them if we can. Already gone through, well, over a quarter of a tank, it's already filled up. Probably gone through half a tank of fuel already. Doing low gear with a dip will save us a little bit. Maybe not. Need to find the gearbox. Oh, have we got? No, we haven't got it. So, have we got it? It's, it's not there, no. Now I'm assuming that's definitely not the route, although that looks like you can... maybe... get up there, but then you've got that massive lip and I've got, I'd have to try and pull myself up and try and then try and pull this truck up, so I don't think that's where I want to be. Plus, the delivery point is on the other side of the, the waterway, isn't it? So. Right, so that doesn't... Where I don't want it, I'm gonna let it behind and then pull it up. That's on more where I want to be. I don't turn this engine on now as well. So climb over there with me, mate. That's going to be a pain in the bum, isn't it? Let's just see if I can get this as wide as I can. Bring him up right behind me. Avoid that lip. And then once we get to the top, we'll get the drone out and uh, we'll have a look at what terrain we're working with. It doesn't look pleasant, does it? That does not look. Do I just push it off? Push it off the edge. Is that a feasible thing? Is that allowed? Are we allowed to just push the? Uh...
the truck off the edge. I don't want to be there. Drone. Right, if I... I think I could drive down there with it at all. That's too steep. That is too steep. But... I mean, will we even fit through that gap? Yeah, we'd fit through there, wouldn't we? If I took us... Maybe off here... Possibly use use him as like an anchor as I pull away, and then try and get down there, and then then deal with whatever comes next. Looks like we could possibly go along the the riverbed most of the way. I think that's the plan. Alright mate, so we want to go around a little bit, if we can. Again, the turning circles on this isn't always that friendly. So if I try and go out and then come between those two trees. That's sort of my plan. Again, this might be completely insane, but oh, is that even the right bit? Before I, tr I got stopped doing that. But the map is of no use. No, no use. Is that the bit I wanted? Do I want to come off here? Yeah, and then down there. Aim for that tree. So I wanted to... Yeah, I want to go through there. Okay. I don't think he's really going to be much of an anchor. I don't want to let it get too far. But I can't, like, grab it once I've gone... Oh, no. Huh. <laughs> this isn't what I wanted. I should have come up with a little bit more gumption, I think. Oh, wait there. Ooh. Oh, no, no. <laughs> I got it, I got it. I got it, I got it. <laughs> Keep coming with me, mate. Keep coming with me. Good man. All's well. Don't you worry. All's well. We're good. We're good. We're good. It didn't say whether it has to arrive in a working condition. I've just got, just got to deliver it.
it's not quite giving me the space I was hoping for. This way, though. Oh, right, right. Is there nothing to really pull me? Oh, if I pull my back end out. Let's try that. See, but that's all right. Just... Right, we're out. Turn, 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 turn. Oh, we've, we've found a climb that we have. That we have. Now, getting this out is going to be a right, a right naughty one. Especially since it's not facing the right way. There he is. Hopefully he'll sort of sort himself out along the way. Come on, buddy. Over you come. Lovely job. Right. We're all good. We're not worried about him yet. So, next up. Getting across here. It's getting dark again already. Getting across there. Or. Or maybe not. Maybe just getting down there. Let's keep him close. Again, get you right up near me, mate. Turn his engine on. Should drive with me then. Why aren't you coming? What you stuck on one of them horrible old rocks? Really not coming with me. I'm not, I'm not sure why. Engine's on. He's got mud tires as well, so he should. He's got me stuck on something. Not moving at all. About myself then. Let's just get me over there then. A bit at a time. Like I say, it's going to be a long one. Some of these jobs are going to be long. 
Oh no. Okay, so with its engine on and me pulling it, it wouldn't move. Engine off, just winching it, it'll come with me. Make it make sense, come on. Now I'm just wasting fuel. Time to get one of those angers out. Oh no, there's nowhere really to put it. Can't go in the rock and the mud's obviously too soft. Now I was thinking I might be able to go along the riverbed, but that's definitely not looking like the option, is it? Unless we sort of hug it so tight. Maybe. Maybe you hug it really tight. And now we're going to get... See, this is the, a gripe. Those rocks. Okay. Look at that. There's no... We're not actually touching it, but it's registering contact so early. Push them out of the way. <laughs> Those, those boulders are the new spruce tree. Those branches on the spruce trees from Snow Runner. Those boulders are the equivalent of. Absolutely deadly. And there's lots of them. It's going to make you go through here a nightmare. You know, he's got stuff on one and he's got those big wheels and it's got his engine on. I don't think we'll keep going on this. Fifth of we'll go up that little slope there if we can, maybe. I'm not sure where we go. Actually, I think we're going to have to go along there. Maybe up and down. Up, down and around. We'll see. We'll see. See if I can get over the impossible boulder. You come with me, rude boy. By the way, have you got the or have you done the unsuccessful geo analysis? Uh, what route did you take? <laughs> did you make an absolute dog's hair of it like me? Bring you right up, to, right up to my backside. See, he's got stuck on that tiny little boulder. So annoying. So bloody annoying. Probably what I'm stuck on down here as well. You just can't see him. Yeah, look. As, as we lift, that means we were stuck on one. And now we're stuck on it again. See if I can get him to come with me, though. How about if... 
I try and pull you to my side, so I can get you over it. Then we haven't got any of the uh, the reusable anchors. That would have been easier, probably. I'm even going where I want to go now. I am so, so what I, th I think I really want to go along this riverbank. Once I get past here, there's no stones. If I can just get myself there. Come with me, bro. I think we're going to be alright. Keep your engine on. Or maybe we're not going to be alright. I just don't see how I'm going to be able to get him. Him, I say him. I don't see how I'm going to get that truck up there with me. Do not see it. Oh, just out of range. Still need to think about fuel. We've not really gotten that far. If you think I need <laughs> How long ago was I yeeted myself off that cliff? Come on, but come forward with me. I don't know. Honestly. When the uh, when you turn the engine on and you start accelerating. In snow runner anyway. And again, it's in Snow Runner, but in Snow Runner and in Mud Runner. When you accelerate, the car behind accelerates. And he is not. The wheels aren't moving at all. At all. Not coming with me in the slightest. Stuck on them rocks, any bloody rocks, man. Just they they're just oh, I ain't gonna lie, they are the thing that is spoiling it for me. The the impossible rocks. Because there's so many of them. They're they're absolutely everywhere. And nothing drives over them. Look at the size of the tyres on that truck. He's, he's not using his engine, he's not getting over anything. He's being very unhelpful.
put your engine on, mate. Come with me. Turn your wheels. And come with me. Come on. Stuck on that now. I don't, think, I don't think that deflating would help me here either. There you go, your engine on, mate. Come with me. Come on. Oh, there are the stones. Oh. Bloody loads of them. I thought there weren't going to be many. There are loads. Let's just keep going. Let's just keep trundling on. Can't do nothing about it. Just sort of fight with him as we get there. And now we're sunk completely. Right, let's see if we can pull him along. Okay, then for me. Them. Oh, we've got a magnetic rock that could cause us problems. We've got a, a floating stuck one. Right, let's pull the pug. Pug stop coming. Pug said enough. Pug said no. Oh, big boy. Once we can get put your engine back on me, come on. Like these these rocks are forcing me into the river. But I'm, I'm full locked to the right. And I just keep going further left. He, he's further over to the right than I am. Not sure when we're going to have to come out and refuel ourselves either. Soon, but looks all it. I 
I'm looking forward to someone in the comments saying, oh no mate, you should have just gone. X, Y, Z, easy done. <laughs> Buried at the front, but we'll see if we can. Pop uh, that out with a little lift. There we go. This uh, this dark mud. This isn't fun. You don't want to be in here. <laughs> Maybe you should have tried up on the top. Who knows? Like that may have been the way you go, but I don't think that would have been much easier. There's still all the rocks and everything, isn't there? It's just a good job I brought a gazillion anchors with me. Another one down. Right. I'm just trying to think now. If I... got a little bit of an idea if I, if I can do it doesn't look like I can oh Winchy winch. Rolling over isn't part of the plan, but you know what? If it happens, it helps. I'll take it. Also, what's the, what's the maximum number of winches you've used in a job? <laughs> So when I want him to get stuck, he's going to come towards me. Sound, mate. Sound. Hmm. Just need to pull my front end up. That's what I'm after. I should have gone to start with. And then, 
if I can. Well, I might go there first. It's like a puzzle game now. Or not. Why are we not? Come on. I say come on a lot, don't like it. Like it's going to make any damn difference at all. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Okay, 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 okay. That one. What have you got for me? Same spot. There we are. Movement, movement. Yes. There. We inflate the tires. Now, what I want to do is clearly very slowly I'm going to be able to pull this up there, but might be if I can please be close enough oh, it is just it's only engine on oh no, not in reverse Christ Come on. You absolute swine. It's going to have me off with that bloody rock. There we go. Man, I, I feel like it's just going to pop me off the edge. Again, it's connected. It's got its engine turned on and it's not spinning its bloody wheels. Oh, mate. Don't be a melt. That's all I'm asking. There we go. Nearly used up all my fuel here trying to do this little manoeuvre. What I want to do, if it'll allow me, is... I just don't want to let me... I want it to connect to the side of the bloody thing. <laughs> I want to pull it along beside me. Oh, you piss off with that rock, I tell you. Now it's not slightly 
test my patience with impossible rocks. Especially when we've still got one stuck to our front as well. There we go. Oh, actually, if I can. Can I? Now I'm here. Oh, on the side of it. That's what I want. That's what I want. Right. Forward motion. Diff and everything. Right. Engine on. Daylight. So if I let a little out. This is, this is getting painful now. Like, give me something. Just try for me. Just try. <laughs> ah. Absolute penis. You penis of a truck. don't understand the point in allowing me to turn its engine on if it's not actually going to do anything. But you can see it's, it's, it's not even attempting to spin its wheels, so why, why have the whole turn the engine bollocks on? trying not to swear but it's pushing me it's pushing me there I tell you beyond in fact I just move with me just try just do something for crying out loud it took me so long to bloody get here do something you measly piece of crap <laughs> oh. uh -huh. Right, nearly out of fuel. Not even anywhere near I thought it was going to be for fuel. But this is it. This is all I've done. I picked the picked the bloody truck up. What here? So all this time. Let's get here. What's an hour? An hour. In that case, I'm not going to go longer than an hour. We will end this episode here, and I will, I'll just have to keep trying. I'll probably have to bring that truck down with more fuel, fuel myself, more anchors. I just don't know. I just, honestly, I don't know. Consider this is only a six grand job, six and a half grand job. It's just being a pain in the ass. The fact that, honestly, the biggest problem, well, two. Those rocks are impossible to drive over, and I've got a floaty one that's stuck in front of me, which is going to cause me problems, because that'll connect with everything. And when you turn the engine on, the truck behind isn't spinning its wheels to try and help. Hopefully that's something that's going to get looked at. But hopefully, again, you've enjoyed my struggle here. If you have... Give a big fat thumbs up down below if you're new to the channel. Hit the subscribe button. Turn the bell notification on. Find out when new videos are going live. As always, comments and feedback down there. Next time out, we'll be trying to pursue... Oh, I say pursue. We'll try and further this absolute nightmare. Because if we can't finish it, and we have to head back, 
the truck resets, it goes back to its initial point, and I have to try and do it all over again and find another route somehow. Because this is an absolute nightmare. An absolute nightmare. This looked pretty flat. Anyway. Yeah. Not success. But hopefully I'll see you in part two, shall we call it. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.